Do your scene sources look like this? Hi, my name is Coco, and in this video, we're going to talk about everything you need to know about nested scenes in Streamlabs Desktop. If you would rather use OBS Studio, the steps are relatively the same, so you should be able to follow along. If not, there is a dedicated video linked above or in the description down below. To begin, what exactly is a nested scene? Well, as the name entails, a nested scene is basically a scene within another scene. Think of it as a container that can be copied and modified without changing the contents of the said container. To add a nested scene, you would go under your sources dock, click on add or in the plus button, and select the scene option. From there, you could select any other scene to import as a source into the current scene. I usually use the NS keyword at the beginning of the scene name so that I know that that scene is a nested scene and that I probably shouldn't go into it because it doesn't have audio or it doesn't have all the sources inside of it for a proper scene. So what are the pros and cons of using a nested scene? Well, for one, it removes all the source clutter that you can have with multiple sources spread out into multiple scenes, sometimes duplicated. You can apply a filter to an entire scene instead of each individual sources inside of it. You can make modifications in one single place and it will be applied anywhere where that scene is being used. You could use one key binding to hide or show the scene instead of hiding and showing the source in each scene that you have, including new ones. It does add a bit of scene clutter, although once they're properly set up, you probably won't even touch them anymore. I usually put all my nested scenes at the bottom of my scenes dock, delimited by a an empty scene that just says don't touch anything that's below it. They also take a bit more time to set up properly so that it can fit your needs, but it saves a lot of time in the long run. So what exactly can you use nested scenes for? Well, you can use it for overlays, webcam source groups, audio devices, different game sources, soundboard files, and any source that you would put in a group together or copied in a lot of different scenes. For instance, I have seven nested scenes for my webcam alone. Since I have a standing desk, I have two scenes dedicated to my webcam, one with the webcam slightly raised up. Both of those scenes are instead of one webcam master scene where I can show or hide whichever I'm not using with a stream deck or a hotkey. That webcam master scene is then inside of four other nested scenes. One for when I'm looking to the left when I look at chat, another when I'm looking to the right when I look at chat, and both of those in horizontal and vertical format. That's so that whenever I place my webcam either on the left or on the right side, I'm always looking towards the middle of the screen whenever I'm playing. Since I have them set up this way, if ever I need to make changes to the location of my webcam or if I need to crop a bit more, I can go inside of my nested scene, make the changes, and it will apply in every other scene where my webcam is used. In my game nested scene, I have a source for my Elgato capture card for whenever I play a game on the Switch or on any other platform. I have a source for any full screen application that's currently open on my computer. And I have my main desktop screen, which I can toggle again with either a stream deck key or a hotkey. I have another nested scene with all my audio devices in it since I have it split up into different tracks. You can find the desktop audio as a source, the microphone as another source, uh, any chat applications like Discord as another source. And if I'm listening to music or something like that, I can have that as well in another uh, source so I can split the audio and I can also change the volume of all of them in the fly. I do have plans to make a tutorial on how to split your audio using different softwares, so do stay tuned for a video of that in the near future. If I ever want audio in a new scene that I create or any current one that I already have, I can import that scene into it and boom, I got audio. One of my last nested scenes that I use often is my on-screen overlays. In there you can find my alert box, my shoutout overlay, any graphic effects that you can trigger with Triggerfire using channel points, and my modular schedule command overlay. That's pretty much all you need to know about nested scenes. If you enjoyed this video or learned something new, leave a like rating as it does help the channel reach new viewers and streamers. If you have any questions or need further guidance, leave them in the comment section below. Also, comment about whatever you would like to learn more about on Streamlabs Desktop. Might make a video on it on the future. Check out the playlist linked above to take your Streamlabs desktop skills to the next level. Covers more in-depth tutorials and neat tips and tricks you can start using now to make your content even better. You can follow us on Twitch where we currently stream every Sunday, Thursday, and Friday at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Time. Subscribe for more tutorials like this, gaming videos, and vlogs from the BNR Project, and I'll catch you next time.